Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. Hey! I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. So she brought up the weed thing again, yet she told me it would be worse if he caught me there. So, oh my god. All right. What do you want? It's fucking... What are we doing? That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay, well, it could be anywhere in the office here. All right, so I guess we'll start with drawer number one. Nothing here. All right, nothing. Drawer number two. Dead end. All right, la this is the last drawer right here. Nothing to see here. All right, I literally, I checked all the drawers. What's in the box? Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. All right, so it wasn't in any of the drawers. Oh, what about the desk? Desk, of course. <sighs> no keys here. Look in the desk, not on it. Oh, man. All right, so there was nothing there. Oh, what, what did that say? Key rack? Key rack, of course. Here are the keys. <sighs> None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Oh my god, so now there's incriminating evidence. He's gonna send a text. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Here's how you do it. Any questions? Hold on. What are you doing? You're going... It's going way too quickly. Shit, everybody knows that. So you're really going to try this keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So we're looking for sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. And then here's how you do it. So you, step one is you get all the stuff. Step two, you wrap the duct tape around the can. Step three, you fill fill it in the can. And then step four is explosion. Somehow, I don't see this going very well at all. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. All right, so I guess I'm going out in the wild to try to see if I can find these ingredients. Oh, wait, soda can, soda can, soda can. Here we go. Release the crack can. All right. Cool, cool, cool. It's all mine anyway. All right, step one. We got a, we got a soda can. Only three more items to go. Wait, the sugar was one. 
Are there any... There's sugar and candy, but I don't know if that's... Maybe it's got to be concentrated sugar. Oh, wait, didn't she say we had access to the art and science labs? Yes, yeah, science lab. Here we go. Science class, I should say. There's a lab in the class. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Oh, exam file. What the hell? An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Oh, shit. So he got an A minus. Cool. All right. Well, that's always good. Oh, there's sugar here. There's sugar. Ooh, sugar. Nice. You're halfway home, Max. Okay, so... Oh, Warren. What's this? You still there? Did you blow up, Max? Still here. Did not blow up yet. I need to concentrate now. That's not incriminating or anything. Are you serious? And of course I say that sarcastically. Oh, what was this? Graffiti? Nope. Stop. Why are you not? There we go. I never said they were great, troll. Max takes shitty selfies. Did that just say I had sex with your mom on the side of the table? Yeah, it totally does. Right down there on the table. All right. Oh, aquarium. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Of course. Good evening, fish fish. Oh, <gasps> yo. Yo, take this photo. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Dude, that's totally a badass photo. All right, well, the, turn it off. Please resume your slumber. I don't want to I don't want people to know I was here. All right, well, there's got to be something else over here. Oh, science book. What's that? Sci science? Science. So sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. So yeah, the properties of sodium chloride is an inorganic compound that is commonly used as a weed killer. Okay. So that's, that's good information, I suppose. Chemistry stuff. Is it in here? No, this mixture doth not work. Well, how do you know? You didn't even open it up. I guess we'll check the back of the room here. There's like the, the ventilation chamber. Couple chemistry. Oh, weed killer. Oh, shit. Yo, that's easy. Here's the sodium chloride box. All right. Get it. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Oh, you're telling me she can't reach up there and get it? Oh, and of course, just, you know, drag the chair across the floor. All right. So there's two Only or one three. more ingredient left. All right, so there's three ingredients. I saw something here. Oh, the cigarette. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can take a photo? Yo. That's going to be a cool photo. Skeleton smoking a cigarette? Of course. Well, she said the art lab, too, so I guess we'll head over to the art lab because I didn't see any duct tape in the science room. This is like a scene in a horror film. It's exactly what I said earlier about, you know, Dead Space. Oh, contest pictures. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. So this, that was Kate's entry. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I'm not entirely sure who this is. So, okay. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer said Max the art critic I don't, I don't know who that is either <laughs> okay All right. oh what was that I saw something there look at the photo come on I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work but he does have some style uh, oh there's a cigarette pack here Victoria's cigarettes <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week oh wait 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 so, I am in the right place. So, it's just got to be somewhere on one of these desks or something. Oh, oh, duct tape, duct tape. There it is. The tape is mine. I probably should find those items now. I did. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Sweet. All right, so we have all the stuff. Now we're going to go back. I wonder if we actually beat Chloe or if we're going to have to blow open the door because... I'm going to be perfectly honest, I don't want 
to, you know, explode the door open. That's going to be horrible. Oh, nope, she's still going. Please don't tell me we're going to have to blow up this door. I really don't want to. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. Seriously? This is so cool! Are you serious? We're doing this? Get ready to haul ass. Oh my god, this is a terrible idea. I do not approve. That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are oh, toast! Oh no. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. I'm, I don't want to deal with that. There's got to be another way in. Oh my god. Are you sure the key wasn't on here? Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Can we at least try? It's such a better alternative than blowing up the door. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I just blew open the door again. I'm gonna run in here. Is there anything to take? Anything to take? Is There's nothing to look at! What's the point of coming in here? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, wait a minute! If I rewind when I'm in here... I'm gonna be in the room... Yeah. Dude, check it out. This is, this is totally how you do it. I did this on accident. Once we get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep... Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay, so I'm gonna be perfectly honest. That was a that was a, such a huge accident that I ran in here and then had to do my rewind power. The reason why I did it is because I was hoping that I could just run in, take some shit, and we could run out. Like I thought that was a possibility. All right, well let's just start browsing. Well, let's turn on the lamp. Although nobody, I'm sure, will see all the lights on in here. <laughs> of course. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Kate, at this present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the, onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. Oh, what's this? What's this? Principal, uh, at the, as the school nurse, I should inform you Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, but she was so upset, or and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. Wow. She told you. She told the principal. Only two more files to go. Wait, I seriously, I just took that file? That's horrible. The principal, of course, is going to know. The whiskey bottle, what? I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. I told you, he was drunk by the steps. Look at him. Totally. Search. What is this? The records? And nothing here. Oh, come on. Those are like binders with records in them. Seriously? Oh, the cabinet. The cabinet. There's got to be something in here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. 
Rachel had a 4.0. She is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She's popular with both students and faculty, and she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending classes for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are, at the present, unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Oh, man. Principal Wells is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed. Why? She's missing. Why would you close an investigation? We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. So they just stopped. Wow. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Oh, look, this is Chloe without uh, dyed hair. Uh, she had a 1.7 GPA. What were you doing, Chloe? My God. Chloe is a problematic student. Despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically, she does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Wow. So, she's no longer a student. See attached police reports. Oh, boy. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Oh, wait, student files. Yo, right here. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. 3.7 GPA. He continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. He's popular with students and faculty. He's a proud representation of Blackwell. Bullshit. They gotta be covering it up. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Oh, Max. 2.8 GPA. What are you doing, Max? Uh, she's an attentive... Uh, she's quiet and an attentive student with... Much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates, and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Oh, what's this update? Uh, despite some recent confrontations with security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police-slash-faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Victoria. She has a 3.9 GPA. What the hell? Jesus, I don't even want to read hers. <laughs> if you want to read it, there it is. You can pause it. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Oh, shit. Warren is a 4.0 GPA, an exemplary student, long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. There you go. There's Warren's file if you want to read it. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. What's all the rest of this stuff on the desk? So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Oh, so this is from Sean Prescott. This is Nathan's dad. Principal Wells, in light of recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. <gasps> I knew it! I told you! So his contributions probably cover up Nathan's record, and then the fact that Nathan got suspended, they're going to pull their funding. Wow. I wonder why the principal was drinking. Jesus. All right, Chloe. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. 
Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you serious? Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Are you serious? This is the first major decision. Leave the money or steal the money. Well, of course I'm gonna leave the money. It's for the handicapped fund. I don't care if I need to pay Frank back or not. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again, I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. All right, we'll shut off the light. Oh, there we go, okay, good. We have to shut off the other light too. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Well, yeah, but I'm not taking it from the handicap fund. Oh, wait, the lights are the lights are already off. Okay. Left mouse to leave the school building. Thank God. I don't want to be here either. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Are you serious? She just said she wanted to leave. 